What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. DLocado here. We have another little Easter egg tidbit for you, courtesy and shout out to Potato Man RPG who brought this to my attention. We're here at the Great Google Library Hard, and let's get into it. After defeating the Demon of the Tome boss, you are going to come across through a hallway, and at the end of this hallway, you're going to see a chandelier drop, fire spread, and a few enemies appear. Uh, as soon as you're done defeating these enemies, you'll see a room with a chest and over the horizons, redux. It is widely known that the Momol Ja boast one of the most impressive indigenous societies to be found in the New World. It would be a mistake, however, to view the Momol Ja as a single uniform people. Careful analysis of documents brought back by explorers reveals that the Momol Ja are more accurately described as a federation or alliance of numerous distantly related tribes, each with distinguishing physical characteristics. The brown-scaled Hubigo with their distinctively long combs, the large-eyed blue-scaled Bunwa, the model Dabra. It is further said that although Mamul Ja rarely marry outside their own tribes, such unions do occur on the occasion of certain religious observances, and are known to produce two-headed offspring that are hailed as blessed siblings and groomed to be warlords from a young age. Indeed, the Atark, ruler of all Mamul Ja kind, is known to be one of them. Oh man, I can't say how excited I am for this. It's super cool to see all these Easter eggs in the game. We'll see you in Dawn Trail.